Hi, I'm Rochelle. I'm Mackenzie. I'm Madison. We are just back from our trip to Moldova, and we wanted to share a little bit about what the Lord did in our week there. One of the most inspiring things to witness was the teen ministry. They took so much time out of their work and school schedules to serve the church and to learn about God that it was it was very inspirational for me to see that they just did so much so selflessly and it was it was amazing and the children were so willing to learn about God they just sat and participated and paid attention and they were so loving and affectionate <laughs> and compassionate it was something really amazing to see. So something that I <clears throat> that I noticed was, in addition to the poverty, there was also a lot of loneliness with the elderly. No one came to visit them, not even their own kids. And it was really sad. But luckily, it was something that we could fix for a short while. And it definitely brought them hope and showed them that God loved them and opened their hearts to his word. Another thing I want to say is just kind of shout out to the translators. They gave up a lot of their time every day for that week. They translated sermons and even just talking to the pastor there, they translated that. And they got no payment or anything. It was just for God. And it was really impressive and inspiring. So I think we went on this missions trip because we wanted to show the people of Moldova that God loved them and to be an encouragement to them. But we left feeling so encouraged by their love for the Lord. And one of the things that struck me the most was how much they just needed to hear that the Lord hasn't forgotten them and that they matter and that he sees them. And a lot of them were suffering and just in a, so much pain. There was a young mother and her baby had fallen into a, a pot of boiling water around December. So she was suffering just with the aftermath of taking care of her child who was burned on the majority of his body and having to rub creams and lotions and keep up with doctor's appointments and trying to understand how God can allow such pain in a small child. She, Her heart was really blocked to hearing about God's love for her. So the fact that we could go and tell her that even in terrible times and even in suffering, that God is still sovereign and that he still loves her and she matters, just meant so much to me and to her and to connect in that way. And some of the widows and the elderly that were lonely and feel like they had been forgotten, I felt like it was one of the things I wanted to shout from the rooftops there is that we came because we wanted to share God's love and share his word with the people of Moldova. But we returned with so much encouragement from them. The people of Moldova are amazing. Anything else? Thanks for watching. Thanks. Subscribe below. No. <laughs>